Bloomberg Terminal The Bloomberg Terminal is a computer system provided by Bloomberg LP that enables professionals in finance and other industries to access the Bloomberg Professional Service through which users can monitor and analyze real-time financial market data and place trades on the electronic trading platform. The system also provides news, price quotes, and messaging across its proprietary secure network. Most large financial firms have subscriptions to the Bloomberg Professional Service. Many exchanges charge their own additional fees for access to real-time price feeds across the terminal. The same applies to various news organizations. All Bloomberg terminals are leased in two-year cycles, with leases originally based on how many displays were connected to each terminal. Most Bloomberg setups have between two and six displays. It is available for a monthly fee of $1,500 a user. As of May 2010, there were 315,000 Bloomberg Terminal subscribers worldwide. Architecture The terminal implements a client-server architecture with the server running on a multiprocessor Unix platform. The client, used by the end-users to interact with the system, is a Windows application. End-users can also make use of an extra service Bloomberg Anywhere that allows web access to this Windows application via a Citrix client. There are also applications that allow mobile access via Android, BlackBerry, and EOS. The server side of the terminal was originally developed using mostly the programming languages Fortran and C. Recent years have seen a transition towards an embedded JavaScript on the clients and servers. Each server machine runs multiple instances of the server process. Using a proprietary form of context switching, the servers keep track of the state of each end user, allowing consecutive interactions from a single user to be handled by different server processes. The graphical user interface GUI code is also proprietary. Keyboard In Michael Bloomberg's 1997 autobiography, in a chapter titled Computers for Virgins, he explained how the design of the terminal was slightly different from the standard IBM PC keyboard layout that was popular at that time. The keyboard layout was designed for traders and market makers who had no prior computer experience. While the look and feel of the Bloomberg keyboard is very similar to the standard computer keyboard, there are several enhancements that help users navigate through the system from the idea for a user-friendly system when originally designed in the early 1980s. Commands for the keyboard are commonly referred to inside angle brackets. The keys were replaced from the technical name that is F10, and the then standard beige color, opting for a user-friendly name and a memorable color, in this example for a lookup on an index with a yellow key. Another example, the ESC for most computer keyboards is referred to as red colored less than Kinsale greater than key in the Bloomberg system, with the red to catch one's eye to stop a task. The enter key is referred to as less than go greater than with a green color, deriving from the Monopoly game board, by passing go and collecting $200 inches a hope that the user could make money on the information he would find hence the green key. Crucially, the Bloomberg keyboard includes a unique less than menu greater than key, which serves a similar function to the back button in an internet browser. The yellow hotkeys along the top of the keyboard are used to enter market sectors, and must be used to allow the terminal to correctly identify a security. GOVT, Government Securities U.S. Treasury and Non-U.S., Corporation, Corporate Debt, MTG, Mortgage Securities, MMKT, Money Market, Muni, Municipal Debt, PFD, Preferred Shares. Equity, Equity Shares, COMDTY, Commodity Markets, Index, Indexes, Currency, Currency Markets. For example, if someone is interested in the Vodafone stock listed in the London market, one enters VODLN less than Equity greater than less than Go greater than where VOD is the company's ticker, and LN is the venue code for London. A detailed option list related to Vodafone UK stock will pop up. The person can then choose different options by pressing related keys or using the mouse to select the option. Similarly, a store less than currency greater than less than go greater than displays the US dollar slash euro exchange rate. Other common Bloomberg commands for equity. HP, display the detailed one-year price of that stock, 
DVD, dividend slash split summary of that stock, CACS, corporate actions related to that stock, CN, news feeds related to that stock. Thus, if someone interested in the Vodafone UK stock price, they can in fact directly type in VODLN less than equity greater than HP less than go greater than. The Bloomberg keyboard is heavier and sturdier than standard keyboards the current version. SEA 100 Bloomberg keyboard weighed around 3 kg with 3 mm key travel and 19 mm key pitch. It also comes with built-in speakers for video and multimedia features. The current SEA 100 version, as well as the previous version has built-in, 500 ppi, 0.26 square inch biometric sensor to ensure the terminal remains to the registered user alone. Terminal and related products Self-contained operating system running on custom hardware, commonly referred to as a Bloomberg box the Bloomberg terminal now functions as an application within the Windows environment. From a user's perspective, there are essentially three distinct levels to the system. Core Terminal This is the original system, consisting typically of four windows or panels, each containing a separate instance of the terminal command line. By entering tickers and functions, data can be displayed and programs run to analyze it. These multiple windows allows users to call up several entirely different sets of data and compare it quickly. Users can run all four windows on a single monitor or spread them out amongst many monitors, maximizing each to create, in effect, up to four terminals. In February 2012 Bloomberg LP publicly announced an upgrade to the terminal called Bloomberg Next. The stated goals of this multi-year, $100 million project were to improve the discoverability and usability of the core terminal's functionality, making it easier and more intuitive to use. Launchpad Launchpad is a customizable display consisting of a number of smaller windows, called components, each dedicated to permanently displaying one set of data. A typical user would be a stockbroker who wishes to keep a list of 30 stocks visible at all times. Launchpad creates a small component which will show these prices constantly, saving the broker from having to check each stock independently in the terminal. In old days, Launchpad could have been toggled on or off by hitting the less than up and greater than key. However, the new keyboards do not have such functionality anymore. Other functions, such as email inboxes, Calculation tools and news tickers can be similarly displayed. The instant Bloomberg messaging chat tool is a launch pad component, as are the chat windows it creates. To launch a normal function from the Bloomberg terminal's four screens into launch pad type LLP and press enter on the target screen you wish to turn into a launch pad item. Application Programming Interface the Bloomberg Open API BLP API Application Programming Interface API allows third-party applications, such as Microsoft Excel, to access Bloomberg data via the terminal and Bloomberg's market data products. A user might wish to use Bloomberg data from the terminal to create their own calculations. By accessing streaming, historical, and reference market data from another program, they can build these formulae. The Bloomberg terminal installation ships with Excel add-ins which facilitate building spreadsheets which consume market data. In addition, the MIT-licensed BLP API SDK allows Bloomberg subscribers to build their own software which accesses market data in C, C, Java, and Perl from Windows, Linux, and Solaris. Competitors the largest competitor to the Bloomberg terminal is Thomson Reuters with its Reuters 3000 Extra platform with Bloomberg and Thomson Reuters splitting 30% each of the market share in 2011. This was a major improvement for Bloomberg as the share in 2007 was Bloomberg's 26% to Reuters 36%. Other major competitors include Six Financial Information, Morningstar Direct, Market, Zacks Investment Research, FactSet Research Systems. Capital IQ, PRIVATERAISE.com, Advantage Data Incorporated, Findessa and Dow Jones. According to Burton Taylor International 